Imanullah Khan was born on 1 June 1892, in Pagman near Kabul, Afghanistan. He was the third son of the Emir Habibullah Khan. Imanullah was installed as the governor of Kabul and was in control of the army and the treasury, and gained the allegiance of most of the tribal leaders. In February 1919, Amir Habibullah Khan went on a hunting trip to Afghanistan's Lagman province. Among those in his retinue were Nasrullah Khan, Habibullah's first son Inayatullah, and Habibullah's commander-in-chief Nadir Khan. On the evening of February 20, 1919, Habibullah was assassinated while in his tent by Shuja Ud Dalla. Leaving Nasrullah the heir successor to the Afghan throne all the local tribes people also gave their allegiance to Nasrullah as emir. Upon receiving the news, Imanullah Khan, third son of Habibullah by Habibullah's first wife, had remained in Kabul as the king's representative. Using this opportunity, he immediately seized control of the treasury at Kabul and staged a coup against his uncle. Nasrullah did not want any bloodshed in order for him to be king. He told Imanullah that he can have the kingdom, and he will take exile in Saudi Arabia. On February 28, 1919, Imanullah proclaimed himself emir, and on March 3, 1919 Nasrullah was arrested by Imanullah's forces. Imanullah enjoyed early popularity within Afghanistan and he used his influence to modernize the country. His rule was marked by dramatic political and social change, attempting to modernize Afghanistan on Western designs, which he did not fully succeed in, due to an uprising by Habibullah Kalakani and his followers. In January 1929, Imanullah abdicated and went into temporary exile in then British India. After fleeing to India, King Imanullah Khan sought asylum in Italy. He eventually died in the year 1960. His body was brought to Afghanistan and buried in the eastern city of Jalalabad.